This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Wednesday, uh, September 27th. So three more days left in the uh, the month of September for trading. And unfortunately, does not, it really doesn't look like we're going to get any real trading done. There's just, there's like 15 different things going on all at once throughout politics. Um, and it looks, I know uh, Pratesh had put an article out there, but it just looks like we're not really going to be seeing too much more volume coming in this week. It looks like we're going to be kind of dead in the water based off of everything that's going to be going on. And just, uh, you know, it, what are you going to do? Unfortunately, this morning, there is almost nothing going on out there. And when I say nothing, I mean it is uh, it is absolutely pathetic. And also Jewish holiday Friday, I think, okay, well, uh, you know what? I'm almost kind of chalking up this week for uh, to pretty much nothing. I just don't expect it. A much of anything to be going on we're going to get some trades but um you know once we get past pretty much the morning time i don't see really anything that, you know anything coming on out there that's really going to push anything because people aren't even going to be paying attention all right so as always everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only nothing is intended as any type of investment advice so the f pretty much the only thing out there that I see this morning is SQ. Um, SQ, I mean, just on an absolute tear from yesterday, um, pushed up overnight, uh, you know, to this 98 level. But towards the 98, I mean, it's just the volume that it really kind of moved up on really wasn't anything special, you know. So um, I don't see any real show of hand. The 98 level was a little bit of a mix. You got, you know, an ask print, uh, you know, a couple of uh, bid prints that came back out there. So. I'm really basing the variables off of this right now. The fact that it won, it pretty much went all the way up to this 98.50 on absolutely nothing and didn't hit 98.50. So it's looking like we're going to end up coming back down. But we really need to see some type of, you know, some better show of hand that's really going to show us where this thing's going to go. Because at the same time, sitting at 98, that hundred's really going to want to. Uh, kind of make it gravitate towards it and you know t testing 100 is a very very big deal in a stock you want to talk about psychological levels 100 is one of the top ones that's out there for a stock to be able to break over that 100 barrier is a very very big deal so i'm um, really just going to be searching for that better show of hand we just got to print at 97.50 it looks like we're going to come back down a little bit for now but we, we need some better prints it's just nothing really going on and then the only other thing that i'm looking at and the only reason i'm looking at it it has nothing to do with with what's going on this morning it has to go on with the story that we know but this amrn because it still has not pulled back as much as you would have expected as much as we would expect there is great buying above don't get me wrong now right now this morning i don't see anything there that gives me any indication of where it's going you know especially once the market opens but we know it definitely has uh you know the ability to move and really have a, a big range so i'm Basing this on our, this is going on our list based off of the variables and the potential that it has, not on anything yet that it's shown us. And that's just like everything else out there. It, it's just, it really is, uh, really is ugly this morning. You know, we'll take a look at the scanners, but you'll be able to see just from that. I mean, if we go over to the top gainer side of things, um, ALDX um, is a five cent spread. So I'm not gonna be paying attention to this, even though it really does have some great, uh, great range, but the volume is pretty, you know, isn't that, isn't, isn't anything special um, per minute, but you know what? It's a five cent spread. Definitely not going to be focusing on that the second the market opens. IGC, you know, I would say, you know, look decent, but it's just, it's coming right back down. It jumped up on really not great volume um, before, and then the volume kind of just died down. So it's coming back down towards this 268 print line. Um, it's just, there's not really much there that I see, you know, for us to be able to do anything with. Moving along, you could see, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely terrible. NYZ is moving a little bit, but it's, you know, a very quanty looking type stock. We are going to put MYIZ, uh, MYSZ on our list, but it's, it's definitely a side list stock. It's just trending nicely right now, but we'll see what happens once the market opens. There's no real good prints there that show us anything. Then moving along, we have GoPro, 879,000 shares, but it just doesn't really move. It's already sitting in the, you know, very quanty right now. I, I just, I don't have an interest in it. There's going to be, you know, our everyday stocks, you know, Facebook still needs to come back down. Uh, you know, we, we have better stocks that even though they're doing nothing right now are, are going to, you know, definitely give us a better opportunity to trade. NBEV, absolutely nothing going on there either. You know, it pushed up a little to five, but there's just no volume, nothing, no real trading that's going on within it. And then KBH, which is just garbage, absolute garbage. You can see the way that it's trading. Yeah, it jumped up yesterday. I don't know. Maybe it had uh, earnings or whatever happened. I could care less, but it's just there's no real interest going into it this morning. So there's nothing that we can do with it. Moving over to the loser side, we have some really uh, 
really uh, a short list, excuse me, a really short list coming in there. There's just not really much at all. You know, it's, it's just everything. It's just a very, very ugly pre-market. It looks like everyone's interested in other things rather than coming out to trading right now. Um, the only other thing looking at is Nike. Nike, we're going to put on our list. You know, it took a little bit of a hit yesterday. Uh, you know, four dollars, which is not good, but it's not anything too crazy. Uh, so, you know, it, it just needs to give us a show of hand. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty much what it comes down to. Nike should have a better range um, than it normally does this morning. Uh, but you can see the prints are just so mixed. There's no one that came in there and says, OK, this is what the stock has to do. And you know what? Until that happens, we have to sit on our hands and wait for that to come back out. Now, anything else out there that I missed? And yeah, nothing. Unfortunately, it's just very, very, it, it, you know, very slow. I also think Fed is going to announce a rate hike today. Also, they had a meeting uh, last two days. Uh, well, today's Wednesday. Is there an FOMC meeting? If that, if there's an FOMC meeting, I might just shut my computer off right now. Is that the case? <laughs> Because if that's if the rate hike, wouldn't that have to be wouldn't that be an FOMC meeting? And it's Wednesday. Um, not FOMC, just renounce rate hike. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? <laughs> it's just there's a lot of things out there that just are not making for a great trading day. But you know what? Not every day is a trading day. And sometimes, you know, we're just gonna get it really, you know, to be it's gonna be really slow. Nothing that we could do about it. So, you know, the biggest thing on a day like this that there's really nothing out there is don't try to force anything. OK, be patient. We'll get a show of hands somewhere. We're going to get a decent trade, but just wait for it. Don't try to rush into anything. OK, the more, you know, we, we have until at least 10 o'clock before things are just going to die. 930 to 10, we'll definitely get something. So just have patience. OK, when we see it come out there, I'll make sure we post it in the chat room. Other than that, everybody, happy trading.